yes, the basement. We haven't been here in a while. It's not looking too bad. Um, honestly, I pre-cleaned it, so yeah. Today I'm decluttering. Uh, I'm gonna tell you why, look this laundry that fell. <laughs> it's gotta be picked up. Um, there's a reason why I wanna declutter uh, and you might be surprised. Uh, is there a possibility that I finally realized that I have indeed too much stuff in this basement? Hey everyone, Sophia here, my great challenger. Welcome back to my channel. I know you love it when I do a decluttering video because it motivates you. So when do you know you need to declutter? Well, it's really an individual thing. Um, I don't think there's a strict rule. For me, I have to declutter when it becomes um, difficult to maintain a space. Like the minute I do anything in that space, it's chaos within 10 minutes. It's time for me to declutter. So we're in the basement. And the basement is separated into two areas. There's the area over there that's kind of like a family room, which absolutely no one uses since Edward uh, has been in college. We haven't watched movies there. We watch them upstairs. Um, Edward doesn't even come downstairs anymore for two reasons. One, his <laughs> PlayStation is at college with him. And two, he's actually touching the ceiling. Okay. So he really doesn't come to the basement anymore. And Willie's um, video game console is upstairs in the living room. So there's really nothing going on in terms of the family unit down here. But I am still keeping it as an area because, you know, like a family room, because it's nice to have. Um, I do videos on that sofa, you know, when I do like a lot of Mondays updates for Patreon, I film there, um, you know, and whatnot. But the second area is the area I'm in right now, and that's my sewing corner, my happy place. Well, my happy place is no longer my happy place because too much, okay? Too much, it worked for me for a very long time, um, but now I got more machines and I gotta figure out something. So one of the reasons why it's not working for me anymore is that I'm starting to do a little bit more complex projects um, with regards to the sewing and quite frankly, it's not like I'm going to stop purchasing fabric. Okay. If you sew, you know what I'm talking about, but there's also a third kind of maddening reason as to why I want to redo this space is that I anticipate my mom to come and visit and hopefully move in. And I've mentioned in the past that my mom is really being on sewing. She's been sewing since she was 13 or 14 years old. She's made a lot of outfits for my sister and I. Um, over the years, she used to make her own outfits. I mean, I would consider her to be a seamstress. I never got a chance to sit down with her and learn how to sew. I can quilt. I taught myself on my own, but I really don't know how to sew. Hence the reason why this stupid thing here is still not finished. It's be a year and a half. All I have to do is the hand, the buttons and one sleeve. <laughs> but anyway, and I mean, I did okay, but can I wear it? I don't know. Uh, Cause I just don't know how to sew. I don't have the techniques and the dexterity. So one of the things that I want to do when mom comes over is, is spend a lot of time in the garden during the day and a lot of time learning how to sew um, in the evening. It's not happening in the space as set up the way it is right now. It just is not because it's really a space that's for one person. Two people will just bump into each other. It'll, it'll just get maddening really fast. So I'll show you what I plan on doing probably at the end of this video, but there's definitely no change, no building, no DIY project, nothing happening here unless I declutter. I have to just bite the bullet and declutter the stuff. Okay, so how about we do that in stages so I don't get overwhelmed and make easier decisions um, and you don't get overwhelmed and when it's your turn to declutter, you also make better decision. I'm going to do a 27 fling boogie. That's a uh, um, term used by the fly lady. 
I don't follow the Fly Lady uh, program anymore. I used to. I found it to be overwhelming. It was just too much for somebody who kept the hours that I kept. I know it's only 15 minutes a day, but when you come home and you had traffic for an hour and a half and you get dinner to prep and videos to edit, the 15 minutes can feel like three hours, really. And I was doing too much and it was just like too repetitive. I, I just stopped enjoying it. Was the house clean? Yes. Is the house clean now? Yes. Doing different things my way. Um, I don't know. Sometimes you got to figure out who you are, right? Fly Lady wasn't for me. Uh, but the 27 Fling Boogie is for everybody. So basically what it means is that you take a bag and you let go of 27 items. And I'm going to go through the room and I'm going to let go of 27 items. This is going to be the first 27 Fling Boogie. This is probably going to be a second one and a third, possibly a fourth. The whole basement as we know it has to be decluttered one drawer at a time, one shelf at a time, one corner at a time. Then I can start the project. It was supposed to be my March project, by the way. Um, I know you're curious, you want to know, right? I'm going to do a counter with integrated space for two machines, where the machine is actually inside the counter and the plate of the machine is leveled to the table because I now have a serger and a much better sewing machine. So the idea is to have a counter with the two machines, one on each side of the counter, and that's going to be the sewing station. And then the table will come here because Scott is getting into hobbies. Um, so, yeah, he's going back into modeling. I mean, not that kind of modeling, building models, <laughs> uh, which I'm very happy about. So we're going to be spending time together, me at the machine, him with his glue sticks and whatnot. Um, anyway, I've yapped long enough. Let's get started. 27 things need to go. So I'm going to start with a box um, and a plastic bag, a garbage bag. The box is going to be for the donates and the garbage bag obviously is going to be for trash. Box, garbage bag and I'm already hot. Okay, I'm going to start from here working around the room. Um, and then do the same thing in the other area. And I may revisit the same area several times over the course of this mini series, right? And perhaps in the course of me doing this, I may finally find my glasses. Um, I don't know what I did with them. Anyway, uh, this shelf. Okay, so this stays here, this thing. I got it at a thrift store. It's not expensive, but it's really cool. It's a, um, it's, I think it, the company is British. Uh, no, it's Pennsylvania, clearly, Keystone Wear. Um, it's a um, champagne bucket. All right, so I was decluttering. I was going to donate it. And then mom says, oh, keep it. You could always use a champagne bucket. When, mom? When? <laughs> when am I ever going to use a champagne bucket? <sighs> um, huh, there we go. I'll bring it upstairs. For what? Donate. I don't need a champagne bucket. You know, I think this is one of our biggest problems. We project ourselves in the future. And we say, well, you know, the kids are going to graduate. There will be engagement parties. Okay, you can rent the stuff. Um, and then we always think that we're going to have all those things happening, right? 
um, you know, all the hopes and dreams and whatnot. And 27 years down the road, you're like, oh yeah, that's right. I once dreamed about this. I don't need a champagne bucket. Okay. Uh, the lamp stays here. This stays here. This was grandma's. I'm, I don't have a finial for it. I need to find a finial. Um, I don't know what happened to the finial. And then this has Scott's father's name on it. All right, this thing. This is very old. It's a tall, um, you know, metal tray uh, that's hand painted with mother of pearl inlay. The problem I have with it is not just so much that it's ginormous, okay. Um, I know that I need to declutter something once I've found myself moving said thing a dozen times because it fits nowhere. I hope I'm helping you making decisions, right? This thing was upstairs, on the coffee table, on the buffet, on the dining room table, on the other buffet, downstairs here on the table, um, then it went on the wall, then it went over here. And it's another one that mom says, keep it. And let's put this back in the corner where it used to be. This light is always on, by the way. Um, we use it kind of like a night light. And it's just too damaged. Look at it. All right. It's just too damaged. It's from 1890 something. It's an antique, but it's just too damaged. I, I can't remember if I paid eight bucks for it or if it was a street find either or I got it in town um, but it was a long time ago you can't even see the design on it it's been so damaged so guess what oh, donate sorry mom I know you want me to keep it but I want a sewing room more than anything else okay so I want to spend time with mom sewing this is in the way Okay, we're on the TV side. Uh, let's start with this. I had purchased this at the thrift store. And I was going to put it on my, um, in my Etsy shop. Except that I was a little overzealous cleaning it. And I damaged it. So, yeah. Can't really sell it anymore. Um, I have no use for it. It's not my style. It's cool, but I damaged it. I mean, look, I scratched a little bit. I scratched a little bit too hard. <laughs> That's a donate. That was number three. Okay. Uh, she's not going anywhere. All right. She's just not going anywhere. Yes, it is their signature with a certificate of authenticity. Um, you know what? I think I'm gonna take this to work. I used to have it at work for years. Why not bring it back to work? That's where it's gonna go. This, believe it or not, this is leftover from Christmas. Um, I just need to put those in the Christmas box. And then this part right here, uh, I don't really have any use for it. Donate. That's five. By the way, when you're doing a 27 fling boogie, you're supposed to go super fast. I'm slowing down because otherwise it'll be overwhelming for a lot of people. And um, it's kind of annoying. You know, if you want to do it fast, go ahead. But I want to make a decision. And I also don't want to be annoying on camera. All right, duplicates. I have this one and I have this one. I gotta think. This is a hard decision to make. I 
like the size of those. It's big. You can really see the board. But this is compact and easier to store. It's really cool to have a giant one. I used to have uh, a co-worker in New York. He had one that was like the pieces were this big. Black and white. Um, and he used to take it to the park and people would just sit down and challenge him at chess. And he was doing that all day long on the weekend. Um, See, I can't make a decision on this one because I really like the big one, but it makes sense to keep the smaller one. How did we even come about this one? Edward has one at college, I think. Let me ask him because if he doesn't, then I'll give him this one. All right. So that's perfect. I just asked Edward. He says they don't have one. They've been playing chess on the computer. And I asked him, which one do you want? The big one or the small one? And he said, the small one, please. So that is going to Ed's. Uh, what is this? Six? Six. And since I'm going to keep this one, I need to recondition the top because I see that uh, it's been used to put drinks. Uh, which is fine, but it just needs to be reconditioned. So I'll put some uh, oil on it and maybe some rejuvenate. Okay, six. What else do we have? it for quilting I could will I it doesn't look like a really good quality one to be honest I can't remember how I found this probably on the street um <sighs> okay uh the hat Ah, oh, it's so damaged. It was damaged when I got it, okay, so... I was thinking the hat would probably look better if I was putting it in, um, in the curio cabinet, you know? to fix the box. Uh, okay, this stays here. This has got to go somewhere else. Uh, all right. Fabric. I'm still at six. I'm not reorganizing. Okay. I just... This is blue anyway, and it's to go with blue. Um... Somebody sent me this. I could make a fabulous little apron of this. That would look great in my kitchen, right? But I only have one, so. Sorting through my fabric orange, but I do have new ones that were sent to me. They were peacock. And all right, we're not touching this. However, drawers probably need to do something here. Um, okay, I'm not going to make that quilt again. 
that can go. That's fabric from France. That's from France. That's trash. Um, put that here. This is where I keep all my fuse This I don't use. That's trash. Not fusible. Okay. This I need to redo those. What's the point, right? <laughs> what? Uh, I tell you what, I'm not gonna keep this, so that's seven. But I am keeping the tassel because it's got 97. That would be me. Uh, and 95. That's scarves, but that, these are bachelors. Irish linen. They're gorgeous. I mean, look at this. I never had Irish linen. I don't know how to use them. Do you actually use them or are they just for decor? Like, do you actually use them in your kitchen to do your dishes or are they for, like, to put at the bottom of a tray when you serve or uh, as a mini? Um, oh, this one's really cool. Mini tablecloth. Because they're authentic Irish linen. And I just, it's one of those things, it's too pretty to use. Tell me down below, do you actually use them? How do you use them? Um, like, because they're so pretty. I feel they would get trashed and then what do you do I don't know you tell me okay here what's this this is all the leftover from that quilt that I made for mom I'll never make it again um, there's some fabric I'll keep the fabric left over, but I don't need this. That's the mate. That's keep. Ah, oh, I still haven't made one of those. Oh, that's something I should make with mom. Marlene sent me this years ago. It's instruction on how to make that star thing. I still have it, okay? I just never got around doing it. It'd be a good idea to make that with mine. I can toss this. Okay, so this gotta get relocated. And then this, this, all of this, this. I'll keep the tassel. I don't need to keep my cap. This, this, and this. And all of that is trash. We're going to count it as seven.
this is eight. sewing machine so I have the juki that's over there I have the faff uh, that's over here that's the serger I have my old brother and these are two um, singer that I found on the street one of them doesn't work <clears throat> and I can't remember which one it is I think it's this one yeah i don't know how to this is the kind that has the uh bobbin that goes like the metal one i don't know how to use those so let go of that but i'll keep this one and i'll put it in here so this one is the net. This one is keep with its box. Yay! I never wore it. Look at the size of this thing. We're gonna wear it. We're gonna see what it looks like. Um, terrible work. Actually, yeah, I would look cute. They told me to put it on the uh, dress form. I'm gonna do that. Let's do that. I can already envision mom when she comes and visit. <laughs> and I give her a tour of the house again and we come downstairs. She's gonna look at this, she's gonna go. Mm. Okay. Mm. Mm. <laughs> this is so bad. Mm. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, I can hear it. Okay, well, look, mom. Okay, this is your opportunity to teach me. All right. Looks much better than an unfinished shirt. You know, mind I got a bunch of stuff I need to bring to work. I'll take that. Ten? Okay, ten. This is a whole quilt. Kit. Okay, I know what this is. This is the all the rest of the fabric that I need to make this one. And very early on I realized that I didn't have enough fabric to do a full quilt, so I stopped at a lap quilt. And I didn't finish it. I will eventually, but not now. I feel terrible. The boys bought me this. I never do it. 
to learn to quilt those birds. That's a donate. Yeah. They'll understand. Um, see, again, projecting yourself in the future, right? This is all quilts that I like, but the patterns are not there, except for this one. It's just, oh yeah, this one too. It's just pictures. Come on. Donate. Eleven. Doing good. Uh, oh, I would love to make this one. Okay. Keep. Sewing. I keep scrap quilts. Sewing for beginners. Keep. Big book of table toppers. I did do a couple of uh, designs from this. That's a keep. Patchwork pantry. This one I like. Manual for my brother. Okay. Tote bags. Mary Makers. You know, sometimes you just don't know what to make. You want to make something. This is a way for that. Keep. Where am I at? 12, right? Thirteen. You can find all the blocks online now. Vintage notion. This is great. Nineteen fifty two. Okay. I'm not going to keep these. I may even change the curtains in the kitchen. So that is fourteen. Um, I don't know if I found <laughs> at two boxes. Um, that I let go of that was 14 and 15 um, but we're going to talk about the clock I found it on the street it's from Korea not North Korea South Korea Korea so it's from before 1955 and it's absolutely awesome let me show you I'm such a big nerd when it comes to clock all right so obviously this little decorative thing here actually would probably remove it altogether but this is a 30-day calendar, um, and basically, uh, let me open it, it opens the other way. It came with the pendulum and the key, right? And then there's this calendar here, so it's a perpetual calendar that lasts for uh, 30 days. The problem with it is that the hands are stuck. So I need to disassemble it, uh, oil it. Uh, the issue is right here. So that particular shaft, whatever that is, I need to unscrew it, oil it. I may have to um, let it run or open the spring, but it's really cool. My plan is to rehab it because I really like it. Um, and repaint it, uh, probably in white. And I can see the pendulum is not flat, it's slightly turned, uh, so therefore it's out of balance. But yeah, another one of those, I'm going to do this one day. Um, there's a piece that goes right here, it just fell, I gotta put it back, but I'm probably not going to keep it anyway. 
Alright, this watercolor I found it on the street. It's nice, but uh, it's got a beautiful blue jay. I'm I'm not married to it, so that's gonna be number sixteen. Okay, so you probably saw in um, one of the Etsy videos um, the one from last week because I'm not posting this week. I'm filming this on Sunday, by the way. Uh, that I decided not to sell this one because it had a chip. And I said, oh, I'm going to keep it for myself. I don't need it. Here's 17. Nineteen. I was gonna sell it, and it's broken. Don't need twenty. Something I made years ago that I absolutely have no use for. Uh, here's twenty-one. Never use it. We'll never use it. 22. That's got to go with the books. That's got to go with the books. buy two of those patterns and one of them was way too big and I had to buy another one. What's this? I don't need this. Hold on till you see it. 24. Alright, all of this here, we're going to count it as uh, 24 and 25. I got to put that away, everything else, um, and then I got two left. All of that. Uh, I need a 27 for item. Hmm. This frame is busted anyway. So I will keep. The engraving, it's a real one. Um, but I let go of the frame. 
and that was 26 and 27. So, um, I mean, it looks better in some areas. It's still a hot mess, but better. If I put the cover on that one over here, it's better organized. And I did remove some stuff. Um, I, st I haven't addressed that because I didn't do, you know, I stopped at 27. That's a garbage bag for when I was cleaning uh, behind the scene. Um, chessboard goes to Ed. The autograph picture goes to work. Over here, it's all donate. Can you believe it? I'm actually letting go of my uh, Franklin Covey planner. I'm all digital now. I don't want to be bothered with paper planners anymore. They cost too much money. Uh, you're constantly revamping, reinventing the wheel enough. I ain't got time for that. <laughs> so this is all donate. And then this is a bag of trash. And then there's that painting over there. So I did 27 items. Am I done? No absolutely not done i still have stuff that's on the table stuff that's under the table i'm not going to address the under the stairs because that's just uh decoration and i recently went through the whole i'm weirdly lit <laughs> i just okay that's that's better uh, i just recently went through all of the decorations so it's it's progress okay Ultimately, the goal is to have everything organized and figure out exactly what I'm going to do with um, these dressers. I want to do, instead of an L shape, there's going to be one on either end of the counter and with something in the middle. Um, so that way I have each machine has all of its accessories and you know, not necessarily double of everything, but what's in those boxes will go into the dresser that's next to that machine. And then, you know, other pieces of stuff that I need. Um, yeah, so that's how I'm going to do it. The counter is going to be over there. And again, the machines will go inside the counter. So there'll be a box underneath the counter to hold the bottom of the machine so you can sew directly and the, the counter is going to be um you know forward so that you can have enough room to maneuver a large piece of fabric for instance or a quilt something i want to i want to get serious about sewing and to be serious about sewing you got to have a space that inspires seriousness. Enough with the uh, flying on the um, edge of my seat or hanging on by the uh, uh, a thread, I, <laughs> literally. Um, I'm gonna do this right. And I'm gonna spend time here with mom and it's gotta be just right. It's gotta be comfortable for her and for me. And right now two people, that's not working in this space. So I gotta make the work, this. so I have to make the space workable. Uh, anyway, thumbs up if you like this decluttering video, subscribe right here in the corner, click that bell button so you get notified every time I post a new video, join me on Facebook and Instagram at My Great Challenge. and if you haven't noticed, for the past week I've been posting every single one of my meals as a picture to show you what I'm eating. And I'm only doing this because I've had so many, what well, to keep myself motivated too, but I've had so many requests uh, to do more videos about what I eat in a week. And it's not that I don't, it's not that I mind doing them, but they are very time consuming to produce and edit. Um, and I just don't have the time. All right. So that kind of video is actually a lot of work. So I'd rather just put it uh, on Instagram. So join Instagram if you're not on there or Facebook and then you'll get to see that plus more and links down below for the shops for Frenchie and Tubby and channel merch. Patreon at patreon.com slash challenge if you want a more intimate look at my family life and exclusive access to content not seen on YouTube. Patreon 
youtube.com slash migratechallenge. Thank you for watching. I will see you next time. Bye.